Hey guys, I uh, I made a, little, a video a little while back uh, called, I titled it Linux is a Mess, and I was talking about directory structure. I was kind of comparing directory structure between Linux and the BSDs where um, where you've got, uh, so, so this, this um, terminal on the left here is, um, is a Linux folder, the bin folder, where you have um, basically every single thing, core utilities and third-party applications, programs, are basically all thrown into this one folder, slash, slash bin, on, that's on Linux. <clears throat> Whereas on FreeBSD, um, the core utils, are separated from third-party applications, which you find in USR local bin. So, um, and I was just talking about that how, um, as a as a someone who's a bit of an OCD type, uh, I just like the fact that things are kept separate like that. Things are put in their place. Um, I got a bit of criticism on that video, um, both from Linux guys and BSD guys. Linux guys were unhappy because they were like, "Well, who cares? Doesn't matter." Um, and that's that's a fair enough fair enough um, criticism. Um, BSD guys were uh, criticised me because I didn't go into it enough. I didn't talk about user land enough and, and the differences. Um, <clears throat> so at the end of the day, it doesn't really make a difference. It's not um, it's not going to change the affect the performance of your computer or anything like that. It's just uh, I just like the fact that things are put where they should be. But I wanted to just add something to that video. I, I regret not making a, a comment on um, <clears throat> on core utilities, on, on the, the difference between... Um, so Linux is, is... Linux by itself is not an operating system. You should... You probably know that already. It's... Uh, Linux is a kernel, and the full name of it is GNU Linux because Linux is actually a, um, a, a combination of the GNU project or the GNU operating system... Um, which has all of the utilities, the core utilities, uh, and Linux is the kernel that, that makes it run. There's a there's a GNU uh, a GNU kernel called GNU Herd um, that's been in development forever and probably will never will never be a real uh, a, a a released uh, officially released thing. Um, if it, if it is, then then it would cease to be Linux. It would just be GNU. It would be the GNU OS. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, Linux is so Linux is just a kernel on its own. It can't really do anything. It it works together with the GNU operating system. You have the the core utilities like this one here. Um, I I just got this as an example. Uh, LS. So um, if I come over here, I'll show you this. So I got a couple of different um, source codes. So this is the GNU. Uh, this is what you'd find on Linux. The LS uh, program. GPL license. Um, <clears throat> it's got about. Um, if you look at the nu the number of lines of code in this um, program, it's like fourth uh, five thousand, well, nearly five thousand lines of code um, on Linux. Um, but if you look at the FreeBSD version, BSD license, if I come down here, about a thousand lines of code. So it's a much smaller uh, core utility. It does exactly the same thing. It's the same functionality. Has the same uh, purpose, <clears throat> give or take a few different uh, flags, a few different bits of the syntax might be a bit different, but it does the same thing. Um, and you look at the OpenBSD one, um, and it's actually 600 lines of code, about 600 lines of code. So the um, the LS program, and this is something a lot of people um, don't know, and I didn't know this, it's not just copied over on all of these different OSs, it's, it's the LS on FreeBSD is independently written for FreeBSD. Um, the LS on OpenBSD is independently written for OpenBSD. The one on Linux, on all Linux distributions, is is written by the GNU guys. So it's a uh, it's a um, it's a totally different program essentially. But the the reason why it does what it has to do and it works uh, the same way on each operating system mostly. Is because it's uh, these are all these are um, POSIX compliant. They they follow a POSIX standard, so they have to, in order for an operating system to be um, uh, POSIX compliant, it, it has to have these utilities. They have to be able to do certain things. There are lots of other um, POSIX standards that have to be followed, um, so that you can port programs fairly easily. So even on um, if you look at Apple, 
if you look at um, you know like Mac Mac uh, operating system um, Open Solaris um, like your um, uh, Open Indiana Lumos uh, trying to think what else you know most Linux distributions <coughs> BSDs NetBSD these are all POSIX compliant so you've got um, essentially the same kind of structure of um, the where files are put um, directories and core utilities so that um, so that you could easily port things over um, so if I come over to uh, uh, the man pages for a second if you uh, if you come down to the very bottom so this is the FreeBSD man page for LS if you come down the very bottom you'll see that um, <clears throat> there's this section on compatibility and standards it actually tells you um, you know, with the exception of options hyphen G, hyphen N, uh, hyphen O, the LS utility conforms to the POSIX 1 standard. So uh, this, this um, hyphen G here, I believe, if I come over to Linux, is it... So this is the Linux man page, the GNU um, Linux man page for LS. Um, so on Linux... It does, it's basically like uh, hyphen L. So it will do uh, like a long list. And I think it's the same on OpenBSD. Um, yeah, same on OpenBSD. But on uh, FreeBSD, this option has no effect. So on FreeBSD, that, that flag, that, um, that will not do anything. So if I... Uh, if I come back over here for a second and do ls hyphen G. You see it doesn't it doesn't do anything. But if I uh, let's say I do this, let's say I go into this is my OpenBSD machine. Um, I'll just go into a different directory. And if I do ls uh, hyphen G, it gives me a long list. Okay, uh, so so on OpenBSD, the, the hyphen G works. On FreeBSD, it doesn't. And on Linux, it works. So it's just to kind of show you that, because um, <clears throat> I know a lot of people probably don't know this or they're probably confused by it, because um, I was, that um, even though you have these same utilities that exist on all these POSIX compliant operating systems, they, they aren't the same code base. So they might be completely independently written and they might have different... Uh, different functionality like some different syntax so uh yeah that's um that's pretty much it, it this is not uh this is not really a comparative thing this, uh, in terms of one operating system being better than another it's just that some um it really just to point out that there is a there is a total difference between um these core utilities one, one thing that actually doesn't exist on openbsd is um color so for example um you know, you can do on Linux and FreeBSD. You can do ls hyphen hyphen color. Um, <clears throat> that's already there anyway. Or you can do ls hyphen g capital G, um, which does the same thing. But if you do that on OpenBSD, it doesn't work. You have to actually install a, a completely separate version of ls. Um, so that's um, that's just another thing. That's so so just to kind of I guess add to that video that I made. The reason why you have that separation of files is because FreeBSD and OpenBSD are entire operating systems, um, including their own core utilities that have been independently written for those operating systems. Whereas Linux is uh, is a kernel with uh, a separate project uh, combined with a separate project that includes its own core utilities, and they they may I don't know they may. Um, I haven't actually gone through the code like bit by bit just to kind of see if there's been parts of it that have been borrowed from others. I'm not sure of the process there or the history behind it. Uh, you, I think you can actually look at the, the commit history just to kind of learn more about it. Um, but uh, yeah, they're, they're different programs. They're essentially different programs that do the same thing and have the same name. So uh, that's it.